All right, so now in this video, we're going to look at confidence intervals again. We're just going to be a little bit more exact and I guess correct. So we're going to use the same example. So it's going to be how many students study high level Irish. We already have our sample proportion, which is 0 0.31. And we have our basic confidence interval here um, that we calculated in the last one using the margin of error. So we're going to look at a 95% confidence interval. So first, I'm just going to take you through this little bit here. So we learned previously that the empirical rule says that plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean. So if we say that that's the mean here, plus or minus two standard deviations has 95% of the data, which is all this yellow shaded stuff in this bell curve here. Yeah. But really, the answer is, and you can check this in the um, log tables, that the answer is plus or minus 1.96 standard deviations. That's if you're just really exact. Um, for the empirical rule, using two is absolutely fine. Um, but just for the confidence intervals, we use 1.96 to be really exact. So that's the first thing. And now I guess we'll just go into how to use the confidence intervals. So last time, the population proportion was just as simple as saying that E is equal to 1 over the square root of n, this here. But now we've made it just a little bit more complicated. So in this case, E is equal to 1.96 times the square root of p hat times 1 minus p hat where p hat is the sample proportion, all divided by the sample size, okay? Um, and then you just stick that back into your confidence interval formula. So this is the same thing we had for um, the other confidence intervals. So it's just p hat minus e, which is your margin of error. Uh, and then you know that your actual, your population proportion should be inside that, or p hat plus e, which is your margin of error. So it looks more difficult when you write it out like this. And uh, when you write it like this, it's not too bad. So I'll scroll down and make some space. So we'll calculate, um, we'll have p hat here anyway, is equal to 0 0.31. We can calculate e, which is gonna be 1.96 times the square root of 0 0.31 times one minus 0 0.31, all under a square root, divided by 500. So if you wanna stick that into your calculator, you'll find that the answer is 0 0.0405, which is actually a little bit more conservative than the last time. If we found our, our um, I'll do it in red here, the last time when we said that E is simply equal to one over root N, we found that E was equal to 0 0.0447, so ooh, equal to. So this one is more accurate, this one in the green, because uh, we use the more complicated formula basically. Um, so then we just stick that back into our this purple formula here so we can find our new confidence interval that we're 95% certain is right. Um, so it's gonna be, let me get the numbers, 0 0.31 minus 0 0.0405 P and 0 0.31 plus 0 0.0405, sorry, I had to squeeze that in a little bit. So our new answer, our correct answer is 0 0.2695 less than P, less than 0 0.3505. So that we're 95% confident that between say 27%, 26.9% and 35% of people study higher level Irish. So that's how to use uh, confidence intervals and specifically the 95% confidence interval, which is what they ask most of the time on the exam. Um, yeah, and then after that, you're just talking about more and more examples using basically the same method. You always need to find the sample proportion. Uh, you need to find your margin of error, and then you just stick them into this purple formula surrounded by the green box, this one here, um, and you're on your way. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next one, we're going to look at... Uh, another confidence interval example, but sort of something you'll see in an exam. They'll, they'll be a little bit more wordy than this. So we'll see you then. If you enjoyed the video, like and share with your friends, uh, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, we'll see you next time.